Hello you guys, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So today I'm just gonna show you guys what is going on at my Lowe's. Um, they are having a bunch of uh, fall garden supplies here already for plants. So these are some of the starts and I'm gonna go ahead and go over you guys what we have in the stores. Um, some of these things I do recommend that you go ahead and start yourself because they do not take much to go ahead and germinate and get started and for the price it's a little pricey but if you don't want to this is a perfect place to go ahead and get some of your things right here from the store so I'm gonna go ahead on and show you guys what they do have so right here they already guys have cabbages so if you don't want to go ahead and get your start started now and you just want to go ahead and buy starts, they already got cabbages in zone 8A North Carolina. So here is the hybrid cabbage right here. Now I do love make I do love growing my own cabbages. I do grow probably about 24 cabbages every year. So down here they actually have um, some collard greens. These right here looks like like a Georgia collard. These look like a little smaller, but I am definitely going to be planting the Morris collards. They're a lot bigger. Down here is some Brussels sprouts. I told you guys in my live that I am definitely going to be probably most likely buying some Brussels sprouts. I will not be buying them today. I probably will wait probably until next month to purchase some of my Brussels sprouts so that the plant will be a lot younger uh, and a little bit more healthier before I put it down. Now they do have here cauliflower. I will be um, purchasing cauliflower as well. But as far as uh, my cabbages, I'm definitely going to go ahead and grow those from seed. But they do have them in stores here at Lowe's. So when it comes down to my cabbages, I'm definitely going to be planting the Savoy cabbage, the uh, Golden Acre, and the Red Acre cabbage. So I'm going to go ahead and get those seeds started this week. And I will be posting a video of me going ahead and getting those seeds started. They had a ton of herbs um, at this Lowe's um, and as well, herbs can last all through the season. Um, some of them will go dormant, some will come back the next season. So they are considered a perennial. They had the ghost pepper and some jalapeno peppers, which you guys see right above. So they had onions, they had cilantro, and they had mint. Some Italian oregano. Now I did want to go ahead and purchase some oregano, but I will wait till I go to Walmart to see if they are gonna have theirs in the grocery department. And I probably will purchase um, some oregano from there. I think it runs like $2.98 for um, the small bunch that they carry in the uh, garden section. Down here they have some cherry tomatoes. Right here is the Morris collar. So this is the collard green that I will be planting this year. I decided not to go ahead and do the Georgia collars. I'm going to go ahead and do the Morris collars because the Morris collars get a lot bigger. But I am definitely going to do mine from seed. Right above here is some red leaf lettuce. This is red cell lettuce. You had your iceberg lettuce. Now with the lettuce, I think that you should definitely try to go ahead and grow those from seed. Right here, some rom romaine lettuce. I think it would be perfect to grow those from seed. Right beside here, they had some baby beets. Now I do think you should grow these as well from seed. 
they have a ton in this pot so if you don't you can got to separate these and go ahead and plant these up because these right here are already ready to be put out into the ground and to me all of these things right here have a quick germination rate so they have some zucchini i just planted that i will be shooting you guys a video i went ahead and popped those directly into the soil they have some um, zucchini and they had some straight neck uh, squash and i went ahead and planted crook neck squash instead of the straight neck so those are some of the varieties that I had when and planted. If you guys see here, this plant right here is so overgrown. I would not recommend purchasing it. I try to, I try to get any plants that I will get as a start. I try to make sure that it's still at a young stage. For some reason, I think they take um, root better um, and establish themselves a lot better when they're not too big. And down below here are some more herbs. Right there is the red romaine lettuce. To me, they had a great variety of things here. Now, if you do want to go ahead and plant peas, I recommend that you go ahead and plant them directly into the soil yourself. But that is pretty much it that is going on at this Lowe's. Um, and as well, if you want to start cucumbers, you can too. Uh, if you have a long growing season okay you guys we're at the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy they didn't have much but they have some things if you do want to go ahead and get some things started now um once again i'm in zone eight north carolina so if you do want to go ahead and get some of your supplies um some of your plant starts already this is a good place to go ahead and get it so go ahead and get this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now